here we are. And in this video, I will show you why I've built a material elevator. When I found a spot on my land where I wanted to build this cabin, I knew that it would be difficult to bring material up there, so my friend came out with an idea. He told me, why don't you build like uh, some kind of a ramp that looks like um, an elevator? So I was wondering what was a material elevator and also how do we build that? After some research, I realized it was made up of three things. The ramp, the buggy and the winch. The winch is the thing that pulls the buggy up and down on the ramp. So I began my research like how does winch work because I was not familiar with like a winch. Uh, I found that like a winch you normally plug it on your car or pickup truck and it used like 12 volt. So I was like okay then like I, it seems like I'm gonna need like a battery setup. Uh, so anyway those are all things that I'm going to talk later but the reason why also, I've built this material elevator instead of doing a trail up the mountain is that the mountain is like rock everywhere. It's a cliff and it's really steep and like all around is just like big rocky formation. So like there's no way I can build a path up the mountain because that would have been like the best thing to do. I know, but the only other best thing we could do is this ramp. So we built this ramp. Now it's there, so so that that's great. I've used this thing to build a whole house. Like everything you can see up there has been bring with this material elevator. As tool, we use a skill saw and a drill. And as you can see, you don't need much tool to build a thing like this. And for the material, for my place, we use approximately 10 pieces of plywood, the three quarter one, and then for the structures under the plywood, we use a bunch of two by six and two by four. I used treated wood because I wanted that to last longer. As you can see, it's uh, kind of basic. Um, I used what I had back then, which was not much. So the way I built this thing is I put the winch on top. And so far it's pulling good. There's two pallets against trees. Nothing is nailing the trees because I don't want it to hurt the trees. So it's kind of like just holding there. And like, thanks God, it's strong enough. And we got the buggy here. Buggy is the same thing. It's uh, basically uh, a pallet with a piece of plywood on top and solidify over time with pieces of wood. <laughs> There's hooks on the side, so when you put material on top, then like you can just like have a strap on this side and a strap on this side, and it's hold it because like it's kind of steep. It's not that bad, but like it helps to keep the stuff in it. So here is the electrical box. I'm using two 12 volt batteries, plug in parallel. So that means I plug the positive and the positive, the negative and the negative. So the voltage is not increased in only adding the amp power of each battery all together to make like a big battery. The reason why I'm using 12 volt batteries is because the winch is 12 volt. Also, the way I connect the winch to those batteries is I'm using the positive and the negative cable from the winch, which I welded to a pair of boosting cable so I can plug it on the terminal of the batteries. As you can see here, I'm using a generator because like when I start building this place, there was basically nothing around. So I brought my batteries, I brought the generator and I built this little case to protect them. But before I didn't have like the whole solar system to charge those batteries. So when I, I was using the winch, then I had to start uh, the generator. I know it sucks, it's gasoline burning, but I didn't add much choice back then. So that was the way I was able to charge a battery. I used this little uh, battery charger. Seriously, maybe with like a full load, I can do three up and down the mountain with the winch. And like, it depends on the load, but normally I was able to put like a lot of stuff on it. And so that's about it for like the setup here. If I can uh, speak 
about limitation that this thing have is that I, I put like almost one cord of wood, uh, which a cord of wood is crazy heavy and never have trouble. Like sometimes the winch is like pulling, but like it's super strong and that's about it. The winch is supposed to be uh, eight ton, but in fact, uh, I don't want to pull eight ton with that thing. It's just like the winch is super strong. If I had to do it again, I will maybe use like bigger posts, like four by four, put it under instead of like on the side because like, this is sketch, but it works and it never collapsed. Like it's there since three years and uh, it works great. 